Hello class, Ms. Jones here. Thanks for tuning in. I'm just gonna go over your uh, course requirements for this week. It's not gonna be a very long video. I'll try to make it short and sweet. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so you don't have a lot due this week, but you have a lot to do this week. Uh, because of timing and scheduling, uh, there was one week where I had to take two acts of the play and kind of have them join forces and combine them together uh, so we could finish the play on time, and this week is it. So um, taking that into consideration, I don't have any other extra assignments to give you uh, about Shakespeare or about the Globe or about drama and England during his time, uh, but uh, I did... <laughs> Uh, spend three straight hours yesterday uh, recording myself uh, watching the Shakespeare's Globe version of Romeo and Juliet. And the reason why I did this is because I wanted to, I really wanted to watch it with you. And watching a Shakespearean play can be a little overwhelming and a little confusing for those of you who have already done it. Uh, but you, you really need to see it in action. And it's really tough to understand if you don't have someone explaining everything that's going on. So what I did was I watched the play. I, I recorded myself. I recorded the play at the same time. And I gave commentary about it, explaining what's going on, the plot points, um, some aspects of Elizabethan England, and all that fun stuff. So um, it's three hours, and I am requiring everyone to watch it. Uh, I demand that you watch it because... For me, it was three straight hours yesterday. I couldn't pause the recording or anything. Um, and I, I think that you'll learn something valuable from that experience. So luckily for you, you don't need to watch it all in one go. Uh, you can pause when it's convenient for you. And I think that it will really help you this week with your Cornell Notes activity. I'm still asking for Cornell Notes, only it's one set, four acts, three and four. So as you're watching the play, It'd be a good idea to have another tab open where you're recording uh, what you're listening to and what you're seeing. And uh, I think that would be a, a great way to approach this uh, assignment. So go ahead and do that. Uh, along with those Cornell notes, I would like you guys to continue working on your Killing Mr. Griffin uh, paper. Uh, you guys still have those texts. You still have the book. So you should still be reading it if you're not done already. Uh, if you are done, go ahead, get it out of the way, start working on that report. It's very similar to what we did in quarter one when we wrote our book reviews for our, you know, self-assigned AR book. So with this, Killing Mr. Griffin, tell me why or why not, you know, this is a good book to pick up at the store. Uh, give me a more detailed summary than what you gave me in quarter one. Um, I'd like to see you reflect a little more on the plot and what happens in it. Uh, but besides that, it's it's the same assignment that we've done before. And so that's pretty much it for this week. Uh, not a lot. Uh, it's mostly just going to be that, that film, that, that film, <laughs> that video that I recorded. Uh, so be sure to check that out and let me know if you guys have any questions. So have a fabulous week. I hope you all are safe. I hope you all are well. And take care.